If you're a car guy with some extra money in your pocket, chances are you spend a lot of time on Facebook Marketplace like I do. Whether you're looking for a new project car to start a build or you're looking for a solid deal on something to flip for a profit, you've probably noticed that prices on older 90s era cars have skyrocketed in the last couple of years. I can remember hopping on Craigslist about eight years ago at 500 bucks and finding something that I could drive home within a couple of hours. Nowadays, that is pretty much impossible. So today I thought we would go through some of the typical listings you might find while scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and just kind of talk about how out of control things have gotten. Before we dive into some of these Marketplace ads, I want to start off by saying that this is all just my own personal opinion. Probably going to say a lot of things that you either agree or disagree with and that's okay. Whether you think I'm right or wrong about how something is priced, I would just ask that you be constructive in the comments with your own opinions so we can have a genuine conversation. So without further ado, let's hop right into this. All right, so we are gonna jump straight into this thing and I thought that I would start off with one of the cars that has kind of seen more of a price jump in the last few years, I would say more than just about anything and that's gonna be the 240. So we're going to start with 240s, then we're going to move into something more my speed with Subarus, and then we'll finish it off with some Hondas. So jumping straight in, we have this 1990 240SX. I'm going to go through the pictures real quick. I mean, it looks like a decently clean OEM car, but it's $10,000, right? The description says very clean, reliable KA24, stage two clutch, short throw shifter. Trackless dash, which is a plus. Well-maintained, make a great daily or project car. Never drifted or beat. Somehow I slightly doubt that. Clean North Carolina title, open to trade. So something about the 240, don't get me wrong. I, I've always loved the 240 and I've always kind of wanted to own one. But I just, me personally, I do not see 10 grand for this. Like I can't envision myself spending $10,000 on a 33 year old car with coming up on 200,000 miles. And me personally, I'm not big on like, I don't really care how many miles something has as long as it's clean, but it just seems like for 10 grand, you can get, I mean, a much better car, right? Maybe not a 240 in particular, but I don't know, Some just 10 grand for this just seems extremely steep to me. Now I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, oh, 10, that's actually kind of cheap given the current market. Yeah, whatever, but let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we're going to be going through a lot of cars, so you guys just tell me what you think about some of these prices. I'm going to say 10 grand for this 240 is ridiculous, and I would honestly never pay that. So, moving on. All right, so this one right here is it's a good one. So, 1989 240SX, $7,500, and already based off of this first picture, I could tell you I would not spend probably more than 1500 bucks on this thing. It's just, I don't know, man. So, 89 S13 hatch with VOHK coilovers. I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about 240s, so I don't know if that's a typo or a, a brand of coil. I don't know. So, angle kit full kbd body kit also have the rest of the wrap to have it all one color somehow i think you should probably finish the wrap before you list it but that's just me two different sets of wheels just 240 things a bunch of different colors looks like a ka i mean this just looks like your typical 240 missile i guess we're not going to talk about how terrible these pictures are i mean you're asking $7,500 for a car that looks like this and your pictures are trash and you don't even have that many pictures and it's just like come on bro are you like cracked out like you can't hold your phone still to take a picture real quick like I I don't get it <laughs> but yeah in my opinion this is uh slightly overpriced and honestly I would say five to ten years ago you could probably get something like this for cheaper than that I mean the dash is all cracked up ripping the seat no door panel this looks a little sus right here i don't know what's going on with that but yeah i'm tired of looking at this thing my eyes hurt moving on all right so this one's starting off really good 1990 240sx another 1990 uh 10 grand just like the first one that we looked at and it's already looking kind of rough this bumper is hanging on by hopes and dreams the alignment between the bumper the hood fender is atrocious description says selling sr20 det swap 240sx hatch yes it runs look at the pics for full description 10k or best offers so i mean over fenders it's clearly been going through bodywork for a while i mean it looks like a decent 
a decent sr20 setup from my understanding sr20s go for pretty good money i don't know if this one is built or not i guess we can find out so he's got a bunch of stuff for the description here i'm not going to read all of it but i'm going to read a little bit of it selling sr swap 240 sx hatch collector car fee keep scrolling this car is clearly not for you guys that's funny i don't think a lot of people really care about the backstory some people do but i mean it it looks like it has a lot of stuff welded diff that that's that's 240 stuff oh here's what we need to see the cons currently the turbo oil restrictor is the wrong size so that needs to be replaced all right so there's one thing you already got to do i don't have the time at the moment and other projects in the garage to get to it it seems like anytime there's a con about a car it's always oh i just don't have time so usually for me that's just a giant red flag of somebody saying oh it needs this and it's super easy to do it but i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna pawn it off on the next guy so i try to stay away from stuff like that sure i'm missing a couple other parts in the car i'm asking 10k there's bone stock k cars with rotting frames selling for this price don't know about that i mean there are some overpriced 240s but i haven't seen any with a a rotting frame selling for 10 grand i mean that's this 240 here's a bunch more information so i'll give it to the guy there is a ton of info here and if you're somebody that's you know, into that kind of stuff it's all there but i just again i'm gonna keep saying this over and over throughout this whole video i just i don't see ten thousand dollars worth of car here i mean just this thing looks like dog shit. i'm sorry 240 guys some of you are probably like oh that thing is so nice and clean and mint and i'm just over here like yeah that thing looks like shit. But yeah that's uh this 240 here's what uh 10 grand will get you these days in the 240 world so moving on to the next all right so this is an interesting one i I saw this a couple of days ago actually and just kind of caught my eye but uh 95 240 sx 8500 so this is already cheaper than the last one and at least this one is one color so going through the pictures i mean it, it looks pretty good okay car like it has over fenders a body kit interior looks all right dash is cracked no carpet it looks like got the classic crown royal shift boot can't go without that mismatched seats bucket on that side with a huge tear on it classic door panels look like they're in good shape i mean this one so far i would say it looks the best i mean it still kind of looks pretty rough that alignment right there with the headlights is a little off here's all the upgrades coilovers body kit exhaust welded diff I feel like we're gonna be seeing that a lot and uh here's the cons i guess so cosmetically paint's not the greatest quality but at least it's one color i agree essentially a track drift car but can be driven daily as well as higher chassis mileage which you failed to list but motor has been rebuilt refreshed and is healthy probably doesn't have any proof of that so yep that's great price is firm no trades no payments no test drives or viewings without funds in hand so there's no room to negotiate with this guy he wants eighty five hundred dollars he knows what he has and i would say out of all the ones that we looked at this is probably the most decent one i guess still not great but moving on all right so this is a good one already starting off mismatched colored body panels classic at least it has four of the same wheels that's good um interior the dash doesn't look like it's cracked so that's good this shifter surround is painted red and i think it looks terrible not pressed on selling usually when somebody says not in a hurry to sell or not pressed on selling like this guy says that's a good indicator that whatever they're selling is extremely overpriced so it doesn't have a welded diff that's a plus so this is just a bunch of the parts i mean it's it's a pretty good extensive list of parts uh, i will say that this is probably one of the better built 240s that we've looked at but for some reason fifteen thousand dollars just it's just not doing it for me i'm sorry i just can't i don't know man i just i cannot i can't see this price like who is be honest with me down in the comments how many of you have paid fifteen thousand dollars for a 240 I want to know i want to know if is anybody paying that like obviously i understand supply and demand it's all based off of what they're selling for but who who's paying this kind of money for these cars that's what i want to know and i just want to have a discussion with you that's all moving on all right so this is one that i'm kind of torn on obviously this is a super nice car right i understand that i get it but let's let's go through start with the pictures i mean clean car sr20 this thing is it looks like it's mint right very good condition 
choke car ready, I guess. He doesn't really show the interior, which that's kind of a bummer. That's usually a big thing. Something that you want to see if you're going to spend $35,000 on a 240. Probably want to see the interior. But anyways, we're going to go down to the description. Car makes 400 horsepower, built by high velocity. Notch top sr 20 dt plain Jane interior. So I guess that's all you get on the interior. No pictures, just plain Jane. Price is firm if interested in buying straight up. So 35 grand, that's it. No room to move. He won't even take 34,900, not a penny less. Um, Do I think this is a nice car? Yes. Do I think it's worth $35,000? Absolutely not. I personally don't know how to price this car. You would think for 35 grand, you would get a little bit more than 400 horsepower. You know what I mean? So yeah, that one's, that one's interesting, but we're going to move on. And last but not least for 240s, we have this gem right here. It is a shell for $5,500. And if you don't know what a shell means, that means it has no engine or transmission. That carpet looks beautiful. Seats look like they're in good shape. The dash looks like it's not cracked. The interior on this car is actually pretty mint. I will give him that super mint exterior wise looks pretty good to me i guess he's missing the airbag so that's interesting but you know honestly i think this car is in very good shape it looks really good the interior is nice the exterior is not all beat up it's one color you know it's it's pretty good 5500 i think is a little high but i don't think this guy is super far off you know what i mean i think it's it's pretty decent as far as 240s go and the way that they're priced this is not bad but let's read the description bought the car to get in 240s but i'm trying to thin out some projects and focus on other cars i see that a lot i see people saying oh i'm just selling it because i have too many other projects just saying i see that a lot a couple things to note here one he didn't say firm at 5500 so you probably got some wiggle room with this guy right i feel like if i was looking for a 240 a zinky specifically and i was looking for a project obviously because it's a shell i would i would probably throw 4500 at this guy and that's probably the most i would personally be willing to pay about 4500 bucks but i think i'd say price wise to what you get this is probably the best one out of all of the 240s that we looked at so I'm not mad about this one. That's gonna wrap it up for the 240s. Let's go ahead and move into something that's more my speed, which is Subarus. I've seen this car pop up for sale so many times within the last two years. It's been passed off numerous times. So 1998 Impreza 2.5 RS. It's a 98, so it has a different engine than the 99 to 01, which is typically referred to as the less desirable engine. So this one has a light bar on the front. I already hate it. Clearly, the quarter has been worked on before, missing all the trunk trim, missing the door panels, airbag. I mean, the interior's gutted. The pictures are dog shit. Love it. I mean, it's completely gutted. Just, I like how it conveniently doesn't show the quarter panels. It'll show this one though, because it looks like it's been repaired, but it looks like it's already rusting again because they start to rust up here and it water leaks down. So if you repair this, but you don't repair this, it's just going to happen again. It's got a roll cage in it, so that's interesting. I don't know why it has a roll cage with like 132 horsepower, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to read all this, blah, blah, blah. This is just, this car is junk honestly it's there's gonna be way more rust that you can't see it's i just i hate it it sucks horrible price don't like it moving on now this one is actually a funny one so this right off the bat 1993 first year for the impreza in the u.s for base models we didn't get the rs until 1998 so this is a base model sedan which is already less desirable than a coupe and it's a base model so it doesn't have all the fancy features sunroof abs all that good stuff i will say it is incredibly clean pretty low mileage 112,000 miles not bad for 30 years old it's super clean you can tell that he just blasted this with a pressure washer before he took these pictures and he has it listed for 6500 dollars i would not pay that some people might because it's so clean it's so nice it's such a good example so i'm kind of torn on this one but the funny thing about this one is he originally had it listed for about eight grand a couple months ago and he listed it in one of the impreza groups on facebook and people were dragging this dude for his price eight grand for this like people were on his ass about it telling him anything you can think of blah 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 so his response was 
I've already had somebody offer me $7,000, so I'm not too worried about what you guys have to say. Well, that was like a month or two ago, and clearly it's still listed for sale. I'm pretty sure he's made two or three different ads because these were not the pictures that were on it the first time I saw this car pop up for sale. So I just thought it was funny that he was getting dragged for his price, trying to say, oh, my price isn't that bad. I've already had an offer for $7,000, but clearly he didn't sell it, so... That was one of those tactics of just trying to be defensive and it just didn't work out dude just made a fool out of himself and uh you had an offer for seven grand you should have taken it because that's absurd anyways moving on all right so finally we have this last one this is a 95 l coupe 2500 dollars. keep in mind he originally had this listed at 3500 but he's posted this car like three or four times for obvious reasons base model Pan interior, it is a coupe, so it's a little bit more desirable, but pre-facelift, tan interior, it's just a freaking mess. Like the dude couldn't even be bothered to clean it up. Very poor patch job done on this quarter panel. This one, they were just like, fuck it, just send it. The wheels stick out entirely too far. I mean, this thing is, I hate to say it, but it's honestly trash. It sucks because I love these cars, but this thing, I mean, he's just clearly doesn't take care of it. Light bar where the grill goes, like, just it's bad so raceland coilovers not surprised dustable rear control arms probably ebay bmw wheels five percent tint leaks a little oil which means it leaks a lot of oil needs a little bit of body work a little bit that's not i don't even know needs a little bit of body work i have two extra transmissions don't know why you have that extra diff and forester struts to lift it back up if you want so it's just i mean this car sucks it sucks overpriced five years ago you probably wouldn't have been able to give this thing away this is like a 500 dollars car tops on a good day it sucks i'm sorry it sucks moving on now we're gonna get into some hondas some civics this is a 98 ex coupe good thing about this is it has the d16 y8 so you do get VTEC, but it's automatic so i mean starting off front end's a little beat up got a dent here clear coat peeling everywhere the front bumper seen better days not too bad on the side not too bad on the rear not too bad on this side clear coat peeling in the back honestly not that bad on the outside automatic that's disgusting interior looks pretty good i don't know who put this shit in here but it looks terrible underside looks good it's in ohio so it looks pretty good for ohio forty seven hundred dollars i mean i think it's been taken care of i think it's a nice car for how old it is forty seven forty seven hundred dollars it's a 98 so it's not even the years that people want everybody wants a 99 2000 i could see 47 if it was 99 2000 super clean and a five speed but it's just, I'm not even going to go through this description. This, why can't we go back to $1,500 Civics? Like, I just, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. This one's great. This one's kind of funny. So 99 HX Coupe. I mean, it, it looks all right. It's got a big old um going on there. The tent is screaming for help. Interior's not too bad. Honestly, it's not too bad. It is a 99, so that's good. You have the better den set up here. You have the better front bumper. I mean, it's overall not in horrible shape. Engine bay, typical, what you would see. 4,200, right? So $4,200, just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a gas saver, here it is. Don't disagree with that at all. Great gas saver, mine's great on gas. Just service, new head gasket, new time and water pump, good stuff. Radiator plugs, ready to go. So if you're looking for a cheap work car, this is the one, come and get it. You see where the problem is? I just, I think you could get about 2,500 to three grand easily. That's that's the range that these things sell for, but can't sit here and say it's a cheap car and then list it for $4,200. Like that's not cheap for the average person, right? So hard to wrap my head around stuff like this. That's, yeah, moving on, we have an em1 si already the fitment is atrocious the wheels are curved i mean the fender's looking a little wavy up there four grand right so you might be thinking to yourself that's that's not too bad for an si right keep going around smoke tail lights that looks horrible god that fitment sucks Ooh, yep bacon front fender showing the vents it is an em1 yep em1 not em1 at all not even close it's it's not it's not even a b16 that fender's destroyed looks like it got shot not sure what you're trying to show with that picture but all right m1 yep 
EM1. People love saying that all the body panels are original bins number matching i don't i don't know why he's really trying to make that point right now door panel surprisingly pretty good they're usually destroyed if you guys have seen mine mine is post interior not bad that panel's a little eh. interior's not too terrible though the seats seen better days for sure not bad but um uh, how does that even happen right there i don't know 158,000 miles allegedly no idea how many miles are on that engine thanks dude i really wanted to your face uh don't care so it doesn't even have the b16 it's non vtech doesn't have the original drivetrain i'm not gonna read all this four grand for an em1 i mean if you're looking for an em1 shell maybe not bad you could pull that engine and sell it recoup some of your money but if i'm buying an em1 i want it to be as close to original as possible and not look like this so moving on and then finally we have this gem I wanted to end the video with this one because I just think it's the epitome of what's wrong with Marketplace right now. So, 1996 Acura Integra, $14,000. This is a 30-year-old car, by the way. Fourteen grand, two pictures. That's all you get. I want $14,000 for this car, but you're only getting two pictures. That's it. So JD in front, it's done up like a Type R. I think it looks great, honestly. It says, more picks to be added at a later time. Well, it's already been a day, so I doubt it. Not in a rush to sell. Again, that's usually what people say when they know their shit's overpriced. I just bought it, but deciding to get something different. This is my third Integra. It's a Type R clone with Type R interior. Needs a bit of work, so price isn't firm but I'm not playing games with low ballers. What does that mean? So he's not firm on 14 grand, but like how much, I just don't, I don't know what to say, right? So obviously I don't know a whole lot about Integra's, right? He says it has a type R interior. I don't know how much a type R interior would go for, but if I had to guess, I would say like, if you bought the seats, the carpet, everything, door cards, maybe a couple grand, right? The only thing it's got going for it is a JDM front a type R interior. It does have GSR blades, so I don't know if this is a GSR. If it was, that would really help it out, but I think if it was, he would say something about it. 14 grand for a 30 year old Integra, and the guy's only giving you two pictures and hardly any information. I just, I hate it, it sucks. Overpriced, I don't really know what it's worth. I don't know what I would pay for it because I know nothing about it, but it sucks. 14 grand, garbage, get it out of here. No one cares. It's going to be listed for 46 months. I don't know. It sucks. So that's it. That's the last car we're going to look at. Obviously, we saw a very wide variety of things here. And these are just a few examples of the type of stuff that you see on Marketplace these days. As I mentioned before, you guys are probably going to agree and disagree with a lot of things that I have to say. But those are just my opinion. What I say is not the end all be all. It's not fact. It's it's just my opinion. So if you're the kind of person that runs in the comments just to be negative because you disagree with something I said, just don't, please. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think these prices are totally out of control or do you think the prices are simply just rising because these type of cars are getting harder to find? Let me know what you think down below. So if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I know it was a little bit of a longer one but hopefully you guys enjoyed it feel free to hit that subscribe button because it really does help and if you want to see the wildest honda civic you've ever seen click the video on the screen now but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video